such a messy desk. Good morning, my friends. At least, well, at least it's morning for me. I'm always curious when you watch what time of the day it is. Um, so I slept in at my husband's home. It's Saturday. He is under the weather. So yesterday I made him some chicken noodle soup and it turned out so good. We are mainly plant-based, so we don't eat a lot of meat. Um, so I got a rotisserie chicken and then I made kind of like a vegan noodle. Well, I guess it's not vegan because it has eggs in it. Do vegetarians eat eggs? Anyways, it, it had, it was a, a vegan broth <laughs> with vegetables, egg noodles, and um, I shredded a rotisserie chicken that I picked up because I don't like to cook meat at home. Um, anyways, so yeah, and it was so good. Oh my goodness. But he is busy just on his computer. My daughter's watching something fun for Christmas and my puppy dog is what do you call it? Not foraging, but doing some enrichment play for treats. Um, so I am taking this time to sneak away into my craft room, have a brownie. It's the last vegan brownie. It is so good warmed up. And by now it's probably cold. And then some tea, decaffeinated tea. I don't, I think it's a decaffeinated black tea, I believe. Um, I try to stay away from caffeine for my thyroid. Um, so last night I finished spinning up my gift fiber, um, St. Nick by Chameleon Fiber Co. And isn't that beautiful? So here's the first spool I did. I used, mix it with some of the gift and some of the sample I got. And this is super thick and thin practice. So I'm thinking of making a gnome with this. And then this is the finished... Hmm, I'm not sure how well that shows off how beautiful it is, but it is so pretty. I'll get a close up of it later so you can kind of see the sparkle. So that roving was braided and I decided I wanted to try a bat. I've never done a bat before. And I picked this up, I've shown this to you before at the Lambtown Festival. It's like white Christmas red dress red. It is so pretty. And I've like, I have to be careful. I'm getting fiber in my teeth. And Stalina. Um, but it's so sparkly. It's not, the camera's not even really showing how rich of a red it is. Um, it looks like the bat is folded in half, and I can't figure out how to unfold it. Oh, I think I might have gotten it. We'll see if there's a difference from spinning a braid to a bat. My husband has some plans today that he needs to do. So it's just going to be me and my daughter doing something fun today. So I was thinking nearby we have a, not too nearby, a little bit of a drive, but we have this little miniature steam train and we're going to go ride that. They're open today and I believe they're decorated for Christmas. So I'm thinking of going around dusk where the lights are going to be brighter, but it's not too dark because the steam train goes in the redwoods, kind of part redwoods, part woods, um, the Northern California uh, hills, I guess you'd say, <laughs> but there's some redwoods in there and things like that. So that'll be really fun. She doesn't know I'm doing it because if somehow it falls through, I don't want her to be disappointed. So that's the plan. Some stuff I need to do today too. I need to get some bins, tubs. I need to pack away that stuff over there, the fabric and things. And so I can make room for my sewing table because I'd really like to make some bags which means I should pick up some fabric. I, sh I need to, which means I'd like, I don't think I have time to do all this today because I slept in and it was glorious, but I need to find some contrasting fabric for this Grinch and for this um, Setta fabric. I don't know if I'll have time to do that today, but that would really be nice. And then I, I need some interfacing. I don't have interfacing. So if I can get bins and tubs or whatever you want to call it and pack that stuff away over there. Can you see? Ta-da! <laughs> then I will have that space to sew. And I don't know if you remember, but I really hate sewing bags. I wish I had someone I could call and be like, can I pay you to make me a bag? I'll provide the fabric. <laughs> But the whole reason that I'm doing this is to save money. 
because the bags that I want, the bag that I really liked that was made out of this fabric was about 50 or 60 bucks. And that's a little steep for me. If I find a bag, the most I'll spend is probably 30, 35. Um, and the quality was great, but I just can't spend that much for a bag. So it's cheaper to make my own. Now, is it, it's cheaper with money. Is it cheaper with, um, my sanity? Probably not. <laughs> but you know, I like to stress myself out. It's so pretty. was so much fun. It was super messy though. Definitely a bat is easier than a braid, but this bat is fun, but it's, I think it's the flax in it. The white stuff here is I think flax and it is just so unruly. <laughs> and uh, I think if the flax wasn't in it, it would be a super smooth spin, but the flax is kind of giving it something extra, which is cool. That's why I liked it is the white going through it. I believe this might be flax, but this was a troublemaker. <laughs> Definitely not as sparkly as the old Saint Nick that I spun. That was so sparkly. And you would just look at it spinning and it would just glitter, like sparkle. It was so pretty. Here's the old Saint Nick that I spun up. You excited? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yay, I'm excited too. You know where we're going? but she doesn't. <laughs> We've got, look Faith, We've got our matching hats. Aren't we so cute? And show your mittens. Now show the dinosaur part. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's go. So excited. See if you can't make sure. <laughs> two of them. Those must be the two that are fight, fight all the time. So I'm wearing a hat, wool and women fibers. I had to pin it so it doesn't come off on the drain, right? <laughs> so it'll be windy. And my birthday cake cowl, gloves knit from uh, Kalura while they play, I believe. And we're ready to go. Okay, we got our snacks. We're gonna start the festive Christmas music. Ooh. So try to buckle up my seatbelt. Come on, we're going for a train ride. Christmas time is here again. I don't think it's a train ride, but it works for this. <laughs> She's not very good at surprises. I had to tell her. <laughs> oh, Faith. Just too much excitement, and then I didn't want you to be disappointed if you built up this big thing in your head. Do you want to sing with me? Come on, we're going for a train ride. No, Christmas no, time is here again. Okay, you try. The train ride. Yeah, 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 yeah
<laughs> okay, I gotta get back to my map so I know which freeway to take. And it's looking like... Wow. Oh my goodness, it was so hard to find a spot. It is a miracle we found a spot. So we are ready to go and we're gonna head out. <sighs> okay, you can't see us, but you can hear us. We were hoping to get here before it got dark and we were gonna make it, but the line to get in was so long and we almost didn't get a parking spot. <gasps> can you hear the train? Yeah. Oh, can't see us, but uh, we're here. <laughs> On the train, and we're so excited. Hey, wait! Oh my God! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> we waited a long time, didn't we? Maybe I'll move my hair so it doesn't. Okay, you got your gloves. Keep them on tight so they don't fly off. <laughs> I better get our, my tick our tickets, huh? Here's our tickets. Okay, so we'll get those two. We'll get those two with that. Okay. Yeah. Show the camera. A choo choo. That was a lot of fun. It was cold though. 
and very dark getting back to the car. We got in just in the nick of time. They closed at seven, but they were stopping people from coming in at about 5.45. So we made it just in time. And I'm so thankful because we would have had a huge, ginormous meltdown if we didn't make it. But we did, and it was really good. It was cold. Well, for California, it was like 55 degrees, which to me, that's freezing. But we were all bundled up, little steam train through the redwoods, my soup's warming up because I am so hungry. I've, I barely, haven't eaten anything all day except for the vegan brownie this morning. But it was a lot of fun, and I'm ready to settle down, get in some pajamas, and just get all cozy and relax. And my puppy's happy, I'm home. <laughs> you happy puppy? Yeah. Anyways, it went very well.